All right, all right. Today, we're going to talk about Spark. What's Spark? Spark is all you need to improve your customer experience. You enable Spark, you act on it, and your customer experience will go through the roof. Everyone will be happy. Your bottom line will look better because it'll be higher. And, well, your customers will love you, your employees will love you. And I think that's good enough for an intro. So let's get right into it after we roll this beautiful bean footage. Welcome back to another episode of CX Riot Radio, where we talk about customer experience and stuff still in a hyper-caffeinated state. So, before we begin the episode, let me introduce myself. If you don't know who I am, I'm David. I'm the Caffeinated CXO. That's right. This podcast used to be called Caffeinated CX. If you want to know why we uh, changed the name... Read about it on my blog. It's a funny story. Anyway, before we begin the episode, I'm just going to invite you, ask you, beg you, to go ahead and like, review, comment, and share the show so we can make the show grow. That's the only ask I have. We don't run ads on the show because, honestly, I don't like that. I don't want to have to speak for someone or have my words be censored by a sponsor so that's why we do that although if you do want to sponsor me reach out we might be able to make a deal happen i don't know i'm just kidding all right so like i said we're going to be talking about spark what does spark stand for because you all know i love my acronyms spark stands for simplify personalize act recognize and keep consistent that's right so let's go from the top I'll just read what they are and then we'll get into some actionable steps right after all right so the first one is simplify customer interactions why does that matter because a smooth hassle-free customer journey enhances satisfaction and loyalty. Those are two things that are going to up your bottom line. Right? Going to keep customers coming back for more because there was no hassle. Right? Um, so what you want to do on this is map out the customer journey to identify friction points, simplify processes like purchasing, support, and returns, Use tech such as chatbots, self-service portals, and mobile apps to make interactions easy and convenient. Always have the three, right? The big three. Voice, chat, self-serve. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and make sure that they uh, work without any friction. All right. Personalize the experience. Personalization makes customers feel valued and understood leading to higher satisfaction and loyalty. Oh, imagine that. Use data analytics to understand customer preferences and behaviors. You can implement uh, personalized marketing, product recommendations, and customer service interactions. Tailor communications and offers based on customer history and preference. The next one is act on customer feedback. Direct feedback from customers provides valuable insights into their needs, preferences, and pain points. So utilize surveys, feedback forms, social media, listening tools to gather customer opinions. Act on this feedback immediately, showing customers that their voices are heard and valued. One sec. Alexa, stop. The next one is recognize and empower employees. Employees are the front line of customer interactions. Well-trained and empowered employees can provide exceptional service. 
Invest in comprehensive training programs that focus on empathy, problem solving, and product knowledge. Encourage a culture where employees feel valued and empowered to make decisions that benefit the customer. And keep consistent. Keep consistency across all channels. Consistent experiences build trust and reliability, which are the key to customer loyalty. Develop a unified strategy for all customer touch points, including online, in-store, phone, and social media. Ensure that brand messaging, service standards, and customer interactions are consistent across all channels. Utilize integrated CRM systems to maintain a single view of the customer. So, there we go. That's the overview, right? That's, that's honestly the whole thing. But, let's get into some actionable items, actionable steps that you can take right now to act on Spark. So, for simplify customer interactions, here's some stuff you can do, right? Number one, if you haven't done this yet, map the customer journey. Do a little customer journey map, all right? Identify the key touch points and the pain points, all right? Next is, if you haven't done it all yet, anyway, implement self-service options. So use things like FAQs, chatbots, knowledge bases, uh, online schedulers to allow customers to find solutions quickly. Optimize website navigation. So make sure that your website is user friendly and clear call to action buttons are there and that it looks just as good on your desktop as it does on your phone and vice versa. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, streamline processes, reduce unnecessary steps in the purchasing and scheduling uh, process. So make it seamless. Uh, use clear communication. Ensure all customer communications are straightforward and easy to understand. You don't want to use too much legalese or jargon, anything like that. Use clear language that a third or fourth grader can understand. All right. So for P, personalize the experience. Here's some things you can do. Use your customer data. Boom. Collect and analyze data on customer behavior and preferences. Like if there's a seasonality to your business, you should know that, right? So you know when to do things for your seasonality and things to do when it's not your seasonality during your shoulder seasons, right? Segment your audience. Group customers based on similar traits and tailor marketing efforts to each segment. Um, implement personalized recommendations. Use algorithms to suggest products or services based on past purchases or browsing history. That one, really easy to overthink. Just let's say you have a service, right? And uh, they haven't used your service in like a year. Reach out to them. See if they need that service done again. Easy peasy. Um, customize communication. Personalize emails, messages, and offers to address customers by name and reflect their preferences. Uh, leverage C CRM tools. Use customer relationship management software to track interactions and preferences allowing for personalized service. Um, a is, you know, act on customer feedback. Here are some actionable items for that one. Gather feedback regularly. Use surveys, feedback forms, and social media to collect customers' opinions. Don't be dumb with it. Don't be like, uh, if you give me a 10, I'll keep my job. That kind of thing, right? Don't do that. Um, then you want to analyze the feedback. You want to identify common themes and areas for improvement. If you don't do this, there's no point in collecting those surveys anyway. Uh, implement changes. Make tangible improvements based on customer feedback. Um, communicate actions. Let customers know their feedback has been heard and what changes have been made as a result. This is definitely good with like complaints, right? Uh, create a feedback loop. Regularly uh, review and refine processes based on ongoing feedback. This is a non-negotiable, right? So um, recognize and empower employees. Provide comprehensive training. Offer training programs that cover product knowledge, empathy, problem-solving skills, etc., etc., etc. Right? Encourage employee feedback. Create channels for employees to share insights and suggestions. No one knows the business like the front line knows the business. There you go. Um, 
empower decision making, allow frontline employees the authority to make decisions that benefit the customer. You can come up with your own guidelines for this, but do it. Right? Recognize achievements. Celebrate and reward employees who go above and beyond in delivering excellent customer service. Foster a positive culture, obviously. Cultivate a workplace environment that values and supports employees, boosting morale and engagement. You want this anyway, right? Um, a good culture will reduce uh, turnover, which will reduce training budget, which will make everybody happy, right? Uh, and then for the keep consistency across all channels, develop a unified brand voice. Ensure all communications reflect the same tone and message. I've seen this over and over again where a company has one voice on their website or when you reach out to them and a completely different voice on social media, right? So they're a uh, stuffed shirt uh, financial institution, but on Twitter or X or whatever it is, um, they're more like Wendy's, if you catch my meaning. Um, integrate systems. So use integrate CRM and communication platforms to maintain a single view of the customer. A little bit of omni-channel. Uh, standardized training. Provide consistent training for all employees to ensure uniform service quality. All right, there's only two rules in any business. Those are customer-facing or customer-affecting, right? Every, everything has to do with the customer experience. We've talked about that. Uh, monitor and adjust. Regularly review customer interactions across the channel and make adjustments to maintain consistency and create omni-channel strategies and ensure customers can switch between channels uh, without having to repeat themselves. So, Spark. Those are the five things that you will need in order to improve your customer experience. Only those five. Anything else, you might be going overboard, you might be wasting your time. Nothing else matters if you don't nail these five first so again this is simplify customer interactions make it as simple as possible and if it comes down to it when uh you have to ask yourself the, who does this make things convenient for us or the customer always go with the customer personalize the experience don't go overboard with it don't be creepy with it but you want some personalization so, you know, they know that you view them as a, a human and not just another sale or another number on a spreadsheet. This goes for customers and employees. Um, act on customer feedback, obviously. Recognize and empower employees, obviously. Keep consistency across all channels. There you go. That's all you need to do. We'll talk. We'll talk later. All right. Bye.